With the evolution of apps, they have no doubt become more user friendly at the cost of becoming heavier. Unfortunately, the phone storage has not evolved at a proportional rate. So, wouldn't it be nice if we had the option of using certain apps without actually requiring them to be installed on our devices? You certainly can and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. Hey guys, my name is Shobek, you're watching Shobek Says. This is the channel where we help you decide the tech. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. The solution to the problem in question is Android Instant Apps. Instant Apps is the next step in app evolution. It's a universal Android solution that marries the speed and power of a native app with the ease of use of a web app. They look and feel exactly similar to the apps that are installed on your phone, but you don't necessarily have to download anything in order to use them. Instant apps launch with just the tap on a URL. To make this happen, developers break their apps into smaller, runnable parts so that they can be launched within a matter of seconds. This feature was initially available only to a select bunch of developers. That is, until Google made this public in the Google I.O. which happened in May 2017. Instant apps do not have any technical limitations and developers can offer a plethora of services through them. For example, um, signups, you know, you can buy stuff, you can watch videos, just to name a few. To enable instant apps, go to the settings on your phone. Scroll down to accounts and look for Google. Now you may note that the options might be a little different on your device depending on the manufacturer and the UI that you are using. Once you have found Google, go into it and search for instant apps. Tap on it. Toggle the switch to on. That would bring up a pop-up. Select yes I'm in and you're done. In case the option for instant apps is not visible, it means that instant apps is not supported in the model of your phone. Let us now look at an example of an instant app. We will search for the New York Times crossword which is a very famous crossword and is available as an instant app. As you can see, the word instant is visible right next to the link. Clicking on it opens up the instant app for us. A quick way to identify an instant app is to see the install button that would not be typically visible in a full-fledged app. However, as you can see, the look and feel of the app is exactly similar to what the actual app is and you can use it as is. Once you're done, just click back so that you can get out of it. Going to the Google and Instant Apps menu in your settings would bring you to the previous window that we worked upon. However, there is a little bit of change now as you can see. The Instant App that we used which was the New York Times crossword is now visible as one of the apps that we used. You can either let it be so that you can go back to it in the future or you can click on Clear App Data. That should clear the data from the memory and Google will have no records of you using that instant app ever. That should be it guys. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, make sure that you vote it down but also let us know as to how can we make our content better. If you are liking the content that we are dishing out, please consider subscribing. We are trying to reach 150 subscribers by the end of the year so your contribution matters you can also connect with us through facebook twitter and google plus 
links to which have been provided in the description down below. You guys have a great time and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.